Hi and welcome to this Blueberry Markets video update with me John Kibler, Head Currency Analyst. In this video I'm going to go through Pound Yen and what could potentially happen next to the currency pair. So as we're looking at it right now, price has recently broken through last week's low which does suggest that we could see some momentum to the downside and if we are going to see some momentum to the downside where could we see that too? Well there is previous swing lows all the way down at 151.90 suggesting that price could head towards this level down here uh, or this zone where the price opened and formed a low just through here. So essentially looking for the potential for this market to drop down into this level here. If we look at the daily time frame, price formed a really strong bearish close yesterday. Again, adding fuel to the fire for our bias of potential moves down into this 151.90 zone just through there. Nice strong bearish close. So I'm looking for the momentum to continue here. Uh, one thing we can do is again just kind of break down the market in terms of um, a day trading opportunity. Now uh, if we look at the high to low of the candlestick, the first level of interest for me is going to be yesterday's midpoint area uh, which comes up around about 153. 20. So 153.20 is going to be a little bit of an important area for us. And if we actually look left, price has found some support and resistance here in the past. A nice couple of rejections here, nice rejection back here, and a nice resistance level here. So 153.20 is actually looking pretty good for potential short opportunities uh, if you're a swing trader. So if price was to come back to this level, reject. You can look for some downside there. Alternatively, we can look for Asia session breakouts and, and things like that. So if I actually go down into the five minute time frame here, I'm just going to zoom out a little bit. And like we did in the previous video, if you click Control Y on your keyboard, you get the sort of uh, end of day session there. And what I'm going to do is go from 2 a.m. and here, which is 12 and then to the European Open here. I want to do is I'm just going to fib up that range. I'm going to look at the low of the range to the high of the range and look at how price is reacting here at the moment. And what we can actually see is price has broken out to the downside of this Asia session range. So price has come in. We came into the open. We formed a um, retest of the Asia session. We've now broken through it forming a lower low so we have a almost downtrend starting to form here so what we could look for if price was to, uh, to reject this area here and form a nice strong bearish close we could look for a continuation short here on pound first of all targeting the asia session lows but then looking for price to extend a little bit further down to that 151 88 level just through here but just zoom out a little bit and just bring all that together Alternatively, what we could look for is if price was to take out the Asia session low, so this is a little bit more of a conservative entry because you have the confirmation of a new low being formed there, you could then look for that continuation like this. So a couple of different options to watch for on pound yen. This rejection of the 50 is looking pretty good um, in here. So have a little look at that rejection there or look for the break and retest of the Asia session lows. Thanks for watching this video update. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. It really helps us out. If you uh, want to be notified when a new video is updated, uh, hit the uh, alarm bell and uh, I will speak to you in the next video.